Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So if you watched my September wrap up, you'll know that I did mention a kind of a movie, TV show, and music wrap up. I thought this will be something kind of fun to kind of add to my channel because I know I'm always talking about um, movies and music and all that stuff during like my hauls and all that. So I thought it would be fun to kind of include this here so you can kind of see what I've been kind of watching and listening to. So I'm just kind of break this down into music, movies, and TV shows. So if you're interested in kind of keeping up with the movies that I watch, I do have a letterboxed um, account that I will have linked down below so you can go follow me there to kind of get an update on everything that I've been watching. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So I feel especially um, in September, a lot of really good music has come out that I've been really excited about. So I'm just kind of, I have like a little list here of what I've been really listening to. So the first two would have to be the two new songs that Taylor Swift has released. So Look What You Made Me Do is not my favorite of it, but it's still like a really good pump up song um, that gets my adrenaline going um, when I have to deal with someone that I don't like dealing with. So it kind of gets me ready for it. And then I really like ready for it which i think is my favorite i wasn't really a big fan of like the rapping but i really come to enjoy enjoy this song a lot kind of another song that i've been really listening to long non-stop is diving by bridget mendler this is a song that i really love it has like such a really neat vibe to it so if you are interested go check it out it's such a really good song i highly recommend it the, a CD that I've been listening to is the Dixie Chicks MMXVI, like their tour CD, and I've been really like it. They're really good live, and they kind of do mix up the songs a little bit and make them unique compared to their studio um, version of that song. So a couple of my favorite are Not Ready to Make Nice, Easy Silence, and... Um, Nothing Compares to You, which is a Prince cover, which they do a really good job with. And kind of two kind of oddball songs is Start a Riot by Banners, which I really like. I heard it when I was driving home from a party and I think just kind of driving at night and then that song was just really good atmosphere. And then the next one would be Honest by Lauren Bonnell. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. She's a YouTuber here and I really like this song. I think it's just a cute, fun, song that's pretty good so go check that one out as well and then lastly these two songs i've been listening to non-stop i'm a huge kelsey ballerini fan so i'm excited for her album to be coming out next month and it's unapologetically in high school i think they're so good i'm really looking forward to this album because i've loved all the singles that she's released from it legends i listened to non-stop when it came out so i'm really looking forward to this album because i think it's going to be amazing so moving on to TV shows, I first ended up finishing season four of Younger. This is a show that I've been loving. It is just a really fun show and I think it's really kind of ahead of its times in terms of like the topics that it discusses and just how it is, has, it's very diverse and just very opening or like very open-minded with a lot of like um, just kind of a lot of issues within our society which I really love and I'm just was a huge Hilary Duff fan when I was younger so it's really nice to kind of see her like in a grown-up role I kind of see her as this is like an older version of Lizzie McGuire the way I like to see it but it's about a woman who um, is kind of divorced and she when she was raising her daughter with her husband she never works so when she's kind of like no longer with her husband, she kind of has to go get a job, but no one wants to hire a 40 something year old woman. So she acts, she kind of tells everyone that she's 26 years old in book publishing and then it just takes off from there. This is a really neat show and you can fly through them. They're only like 20, 22 minutes each. And I think the first three seasons are on Netflix or on Hulu, so you can go check that out if you're interested, but I highly recommend it. It's just really fun. And then I also ended up watching season one of The Handmaid's Tale, which is on Hulu. It took me a while to get this just because I was like, I don't know, but I really liked it. It is stays true to the book. I have a review that I'll link down below if you want to go check that out. But it stays true to the book, but what I really liked about it is it did expand a lot on some of the characters' background and kind of what's going on outside of America. For those of you who don't know, this follows Offred, who lives in kind of a present day America where this military religious kind of group takes over the government and as a result women lose like all rights they're not allowed to read and Alfred is a handmaid and her sole purpose is to produce children so it just kind of 
goes off from there and then the show was just amazing it deserves all the recognition that it has gotten i was really surprised with alexis bladell and just her performance there i think she was like my favorite character i always looked forward to her to seeing her on screen especially because it is mostly like for some parts she's wearing like a mask that like covers like basically from her nose down and all of it is just her expression of her face and that was something that I really enjoyed. Just be aware though that there are trigger warnings. It does deal with sexual assault and rape and it is very graphic at times both explicitly and then also violence as well so just be aware of that that this isn't really suitable for all audiences i also during this time caught up with season 18 of law and order svu i've always been a big fan of it and i've always watched like the reruns of this show but i've never actually watched the current season so i made sure i caught up with it before season 19 started and it started off um, on a really good note i'm really excited to see kind of the storyline because i saw the preview for the second episode that's going to be airing this week and it seems like it's going to be really intense in terms of olivia um so yeah i'm really excited about that one and it i was <laughs> i love law and order SV. i don't know what it is my dad's like i don't know how you can watch it but there's something really addictive about it and then I also watched the season premiere of Modern Family for season nine. It was really fun. I thought this one was a fun one where they go out to Lake Tahoe to watch the solar eclipse, which was really exciting. I, it was really funny actually, so it was a good kind of start. I feel like, especially kind of the last few seasons, there's been a little bit of a slump in terms of the episodes and this one kind of reminded me some of the earlier ones just in terms of the comedic timing and just how witty it was so i have high hopes for this season and lastly this is something my parents were really excited about so last year um they were obsessed with this is us like i would call home and they're like you need to watch it like every time every time i called so i was like okay i have hulu now so i'll watch it so i think on on season five so i already kind of knew the general plot and i kind of know the spoilers of it so i haven't been surprised but it is i've gotten more invested to it later on and i think it gets a little better i think because right now i already know so much about it so it's like okay yeah i could see that coming because i already knew but so far it's pretty good so hopefully i'll be able to kind of finish I think there's only 18 episodes so I could probably finish it and be caught up by the end of the year is what I'm hoping so I can kind of watch it live so yeah I really like it so far so and I yeah and I love uh, Milo uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name but I've always had a crush on him since Gilmore Girls so it's a little eye candy too and the guy who plays Kevin like oh so moving on to movies, I did watch kind of a wide variety. Most of them were Disney movies, I will say. Um, so first up, I watched uh, Big Hero 6, um, which I ended up hauling a couple months ago, but I haven't gotten around to actually watching it until now. And I was actually pleasantly surprised with it. I knew nothing about the plot whatsoever. I know it just had kind of like the Michelin Man type thing, which was really good. So I gave that three and a half stars. I then ended up watching The Incredibles, which I um, have seen many times actually, but I haven't watched it recently. And I knew that, and I knew there was going to be a new movie coming out in 2018. I want to say it is. Um, I think I really enjoyed it when I was younger. So like watching it now, I think because I already know the plot so well. So it was a decent. Like it was, I gave it three stars, so I kind of enjoyed it. So yeah, it was good. So I'm excited to kind of see what they kind of do to add to the storyline. I know because it's gonna, I've heard that it's gonna kind of center around Elastigirl, which I think is gonna be really exciting. So I'm excited to see what that one has in store. So moving on to the ninth, I then, and my friends ended up coming over. They watched Proposal, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. I just love it. So I had to give it four out of five stars. It makes me laugh even though I've seen it hundreds of times and it's definitely one of my favorite movies like ever. Then I ended up watching The Circle. I got this from the library and I did see this in theaters and I kind of had mixed feelings about it, but watching it a second time, I really have come to appreciate it a little bit more. I added like a star and a half of it. So I gave it three and a half stars. I don't think it's a perfect movie per se, but I like how it kind of did stray from the book in terms of the ending and just all that. So I have come to appreciate it a bit more and I do love Emma Watson and Tom Hanks so it's good kind of seeing them on screen together and then I also ended up getting Mrs. Doubtfire which I've never actually seen before from the library and I loved it I don't know why it was something that I've never like 
like seen before and so I'm happy I decided to go and pick it up and there's many times where I would just laugh out loud and just some of the comedy behind it it was really good it is hard to watch though knowing just how everything kind of panned out with Robin Williams it is still sad to kind of see that but I gave it a solid four out of five stars it, I really enjoyed it and it's definitely become one of my favorites so the following weekend I ended up watching Guardians of the Galaxy volume 2 I ended up seeing this in theaters with my brother um, when it came out so I was really excited when it came out on blu-ray so I could watch it again I do love it I don't know if I like I think I like this one a little bit better than the first one just because the storyline's a little bit easier to follow I think so it's a fall solid four out of five stars it's just really fun and the music is just awesome so then on the 23rd I watched Wonder Woman I saw this with my brother and sister and it was amazing so I was excited when it came out on blu-ray because I really wanted to watch it again and I gave it a solid five out of five stars it is just amazing next um, I watched Harry when Harry met Sally and I've never actually seen this movie before but I know it's like a classic like rom-com and this is like one of the the best I heard people say and I always love kind of like the late 80s 90s rom-coms are like my favorite and it was so good <laughs> it came in a five out of five stars it was just really good and it's definitely become one of my favorite rom-coms I'm always a sucker for those uh, then that night I also ended up watching the good dinosaur I've never seen this before so I didn't know really anything about it um, I gave it two out of five stars I did it didn't have much of a plot whatsoever it was just bland I felt in my opinion it the animation though I will say for like kind of the environment that they're in like it follows kind of like a dinosaur who ends up getting lost from his family and he ends up becoming companions with this like caveman-esque boy who kind of acts like his dog um, but I will say kind of the cinematography or just kind of the animation for the environment that they're in is kind of I think they're kind of referencing kind of the west um west north america from what i was getting at is just stunning but then they make the kind of characters very cartoon-esque because that was re really weird that they did it that way it's not my favorite pixar movie but the animation aside from like the actual like characters is just stunning i probably won't watch this again it's not my favorite i think it's more of a kids movie this one that just it didn't really have much of a meaning to it then finally I ended up watching Wreck-It Ralph. This was another Disney movie that I hauled that I haven't watched until now and I loved it. I didn't really know anything about the plot. It's about Ralph who lives, basically it's basically it follows characters who live inside kind of arcade games and Ralph is really tired of being known as the bad guy of the game so he kind of goes out and gets a medal and he ends up crossing paths with all these other characters and I really liked it I was pleasantly surprised with it I gave it like a three out and a half like maybe closer to four stars it was really good so yeah I can't complain overall it was a pretty good movie month I had some you know okay movies some that I did one that I didn't like but overall it was a pretty good movies um, movie month so I can't complain so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed kind of this little different wrap-up let me know in the comments below if you kind of like these ones and kind of share your kind of music and TV and movie suggestions that you think I would like uh, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye guys